Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video of C++ for beginners. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back, and if you are a new viewer, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon as well, and welcome to my channel. So in this video I want to talk about the while loop, and in my previous videos we have already talked about while loop and iteration in general, so if you are not familiar with those, make sure to watch that video, I'm going to link it here. But in this video, I want to explain to you how and when is used do while loop. And I'm going to give you an example of a program that is usually used. And for example, applications such as when you try to unlock your phone and then you are given three attempts to guess your PIN. And if you guess it correctly, then you can proceed loading your phone's applications further. Or for example, if you want to unlock your credit card. So you put your credit card in ATM and then it gives you three attempts to unlock your credit card. If you guess your PIN correctly, you can proceed further. But if you fail, so if you don't guess your PIN correctly in those three attempts, your account gets blocked. So that is the application that we are going to make today. And for that, we are going to use do while loop. So there are three things that we need, actually three variables. So I'm going to declare those three here. The first one is going to be our, let's say, the, the pin of our user. So let's call it user's pin, like this, which is going to be really the correct pin, the one that you want to guess. So I'm going to put here, let's say one, two, three, four. That is going to be our user's pin. After that, we need another variable, which is going to be really the pin that our user enters. So let's call that variable just pin. Okay, like this. And then the third variable that we need is going to be really counter of our errors. So the counter of the attempts and errors that our user has made. So I'm going to call that variable error counter like this. And let's set that value initially to zero. Okay. And the next thing that we need to do is we really need to give our user three attempts in order to guess this pin here. And if he guesses it correctly in those three attempts, we are going to write out that the application can be loaded further. So we are going to write out application is loading or something like that. But in the case that our user does not guess this pin here, so this pin here correctly, we are going to really write out that the application or a credit card, whatever has been blocked, and how we are going to do that. So we are going to use do while loop. So I'm going to write out do like this. And then here I'm going to put while because that is the syntax of our do while loop. Okay, and here you need semicolon because if you don't put it, you are going to get a syntactic error. Now here we put the block of code that we want to execute in each iteration. And here we put the condition that we want to check each time that this code here is executed. We come here and then we check that condition. And if this condition here that we put is correct, we are going to go again here and do one more iteration and then again check and then do more one more iteration. And we are going to repeat that until this condition that we put here is no lo longer true. When it when this condition here, when it becomes false, we are going to leave our do while loop. Okay, so what do we want to enter? So what do we want actually to do in this block of code here? We really want to write out a message to our user so that he knows that he should enter a pin, a pin and then we want to really accept that pin that our user enters in this variable, variable here. So let's do that first. I'm going to write out C out like this. And then let's just write out pin like this. And let's accept the value that our user has entered in our pin variable like this. Okay. And then after we have done this, what we need to do is we really need to check whether this pin here, so this pin that our user has entered corresponds to this pin here. So whether this value is equal to this value here. And if they are not, that means that our user has failed. So in that case, we are going to increase our errors counter. So I'm going to put here if pin is not equal to users 
thin like this, what we want to do is we want to really increase our errors counter variable like this. Okay. And this code here, so we want to give the, the attempt to our user so that he can enter a pin and then we want to check whether that pin is correct three times or until this pin here and this pin here are the same. So until they are equal or until, until our user has used all of these three attempts that we have given to him. Okay, so here I'm going to really put that condition. So here inside these parentheses I'm going to write out please do this block of code here while our, e, let's say, while our errors counter is less than three, like this, and then also at the same time while our pin is not equal to user's pin, like this, which means that this block of code here is going to be executed while our user has not used all of these three attempts that we have given to him and while this pin here, so this pin here and this pin here are not equal. In a situation where this here results as false, we are going to come here and after that when we come here we really want to check whether we have left this do while loop here because our errors counter has reached three or because these two were the same. In a situation where our errors counter has reached three, that means that our user has used three attempts and that he has not guessed his pin correctly. So I'm going to put here, if our errors counter is less than three, like this, and this condition here really means that this do while loop has been left in a situation where our user has not used all of these three attempts that we have given to him. That means that this while condition has really failed on this part here. So that means that our user has entered one, two, three, four as pin. And in that situation, one, two, three, four is not equal to one, two, three, four. That results as false. So this whole expression here, this whole condition results in false as false, and then we leave our do while loop. And in that situation, if our user has not used all of these three attempts, that really means that he has guessed his pin correctly. So here in this if situation, we can write out to our user, see out, you have guessed or you can proceed with loading of, of this application. So I'm going to write out just loading like this, but in a situation where our while loop has been left because this errors counter is greater than three, actually it is going to be equal to three, that means that our user has failed in guessing his pin three times and that means probably that he's not trying to unlock his phone or his credit card, so in that situation we are really going to block that account, so we can say else see out blocked like this okay and I'm going to put one more here like this so this is going to be a program that we really use to allow our user to enter three attempts of his pin and in a situation where he guesses that pin correctly in those three attempts we are going to write out to our user that he has successfully unlocked his phone for example, and we can proceed with loading of applications, but in a situation where he really uses all of those three attempts and fails to guess his pin, we can write out that the application is blocked. Oh, blocked now. Now it's now it's okay. So let me run this program, and let's try to use three attempts. So I'm going to say that my first attempt is going to be, for example, one, 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 like this. So it says you have not guessed correctly. Please enter your pin again. This is what it means. After that, I'm going to try, for example, two, 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 two. It tries to prompt me to enter my pin again because I have failed previously. 
And let's say that my third, uh, th third attempt is going to be 3333, three, three, like this. And then it has said, it has written out a message that my account has been blocked because I have missed three times. Okay, so that is one scenario. And the other scenario is going to be really where we guess, the one where we guess our pin correctly. So let's say that our first attempt is going to be um, 1111 again. And after that, we really remember what is the correct pin and we enter 1234 like this. And then if I press enter, it says really you are loading, you can, you can load your application now or the further loading of your application is going to begin now because we have guessed the correct pin. So let me very quickly explain one more time how has this happened. So this code here, when we come to this do while loop, the first thing that is executed is this line here. So it says, please enter your pin. And then after your user enters the pin, your program really checks whether that pin is equal to user's pin. So the previous pin, the one that he needs to guess, and if those two are not equal, that means that your user has not guessed correctly and then you want to increase your errors counter. So the number of attempts that your user has used and failed actually in using. So we increase in our first iteration that errors counter to one, so from zero to one. And then we come here and then our loop really checks whether that errors counter is less than three. So one is less than three, that is true. And also it checks whether that pin here is not equal to the pin that we need to guess. And in this situation, it is not equal. So it also, this, this whole expression results as true and it now can go here again. So it prompts you again to enter the pin. So you can enter the pin now. And in this situation, we enter 2222, two, 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 for example. And then it guesses, it, it checks again. So it checks whether pin that you have entered, so 2222, two, 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 is not equal to 1234. Those two are not equal, so it increases the errors counter once more, and it becomes 2 now. Then you go here, and then it says, okay, please check whether my user has used all of these three attempts. It, it, it says that your errors counter is still less than 3, so you have used only 2 attempts so far. And then this condition here results as true because you have entered 2222 two, 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 and that is not equal to your pin, so 1234. And then it goes back here, tries to prompt you one more time to enter your pin. And then if you fail this time, it increases your errors counter to 3, like this. And then it goes here and it checks whether your errors counter is less than 3. Your error, errors counter in this situation is uh, has become 3. so. This condition here results as false and your while the while loop actually is now broken. So you are not going to continue the execution of your do while loop, but you come here and then it checks whether errors counter is less than three because this here fails, because this here results as false. You are presented with this message here. So blocked your phone, your account has been blocked. Okay, and in a situation where your user guesses correctly that errors counter is going to be less than three and you are going to be presented with a message of loading. And there is one important thing that I want to mention and that is really the difference between while loop and do while loop. In do while loop you first do, so you first execute this block of code here and then you check the condition. And then if that condition results as true, you go back and you again do this block of code here and then you check, and then you do. But in a situation of while loop, you first check the condition, and then if that condition results as true, then you can really proceed with executing your block of code that comes after your while. But in this situation here, so in the situation of do while loop, you first do this block of code here. So uh, irrelevant whether this condition here is true or not, you are going to do this block of code here at least once. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon as well. And also, if you want me to post more videos like this, make sure to like this video because then I will know that you liked it. And one more thing, I'm going to put the code of this task here in the description section of this video so that you can really use it if you need it. 
And, well, that's all. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.